this world. Liberty and justice for all. December 7th meeting. So move. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Bershkevich. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Here. Okay. Start our organizational minutes. Organizational paperwork. So, uh, designating the first and third Wednesdays of each month and the official dates of the regular meetings of the town board. The regular meeting on the first Wednesday of the month at 6 p.m. and the regular meeting on the third Wednesday of the month at 9 a.m. All meetings will be held at the town hall of Town of Sullivan located at 7507 Lakeport Road, Chicago, New York, unless otherwise determined. Motion, please. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second by Mr. Bruschkevich. Any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Carry. Okay, designated that the Town of Sullivan Planning Board meetings will be held on the first Tuesday of each month at 7 p.m. and the Town of Sullivan Zoning Board of Appeals meeting will be held on the second Thursday of each month at 7 p.m. All meetings will be held at the Town Hall of Town of Sullivan. Located at 7507 Lakeport Road, Chicago, unless otherwise determined. Motion. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Mantra. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Carried. Well, the town clerk shall provide public notice of the regular meeting dates and times of special meetings as they occur by posting on the town's official board board and on the town's website and providing the same to the official town newspapers in accordance with the open meeting law of New York State. The United Dispatch and the Post Standard as official newspapers and the motion please. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin, second. Second. Second by Mr. Gibbons. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Here. Okay, designated the Community Bank, NA, JP Morgan Chase Bank, NA, m and Bank, Seneca Federal Savings Bank, and New York Class as official depositories of the town of, uh, of all town funds. I'll move it, gentlemen. Motion by Mr. Martin, second. Second. Second by Mr. Grishkevich. Very good discussion. I do like class. It's new this year. What's it's it? through, uh, Nate Nysack, isn't it? About the, through New York State to get a better interest rate. through New York State okay. that if higher rates than I can't get anywhere else. Okay. Okay. Any other discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Carried. Okay, authorizing the supervisor and the comptroller to invest town monies in savings money market accounts and certificates of deposit in an official depository with, with pledge securities required for any additional account or certificate of deposit over $100,000. Motion, please. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Gibbons. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Carried. Okay. Authorizing the receiver of taxes on January 15, 2023, to pay the supervisor any monies available at the time, and to authorize the supervisor and the comptroller to deposit those monies in such savings. Money market accounts and certificates of deposit in an official depository as they deem appropriate. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Montre. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Carried. Okay. Authorizing the payment to the following vendors upon the vouchers prepared by the comptroller and without further certification of the town board, in addition to the the within resolution constituting a blanket certification to WIC, Verizon, National Grid, Onondaga County Water Authority, 
spectrum, time work, cable, and fuel provider, all utilities. Motion. Yep. Motion. Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Gibbons. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Carries. Okay, renewing the town clerk's credit cash fund for two hundred dollars. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Montre. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Opposed. Okay, adopting the IRS mileage rate in effect for the year 2023 for the town of Florida's using their own automobile and the discharge of their official duties. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Mr. Gibbons, second by Mr. Gibbons. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Okay, authorizing the highway superintendent to enter into a contract for public work involving expenditures of $35,000 or less and all purchase contracts for the highway department involving an expenditure of $20,000 or less without bid but in accordance with the most recently adopted return of policy of the town of Fellow. Motion, please. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Martin, second by Mr. Bershkevich. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Carried. <coughs> Directing that the members of the Park Board, Planning Board, and the Zoning Board of Appeals be paid quarterly, and the salaries of all employees of the town be paid every two weeks, with the week ending on Wednesday. Motion? So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Montreux. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Carried. Okay. Setting the hourly rates of non salaried employees of the Department of Parks and Recreation, Highway Department, and Town Clerk's Office of the amount set forth within the budget. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Gibbons. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. Aye. Okay. <coughs> Catherine Vanderworken as a receiver of taxes for the year 2023 at the budget and salary. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Montreux. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Here. Okay. Acknowledging the appointment. By Amy D. Wells, Town Clerk of Rosemary Zerniak, and Bill Goss as Deputy Town Clerks at the hourly rate stipulated in the budget. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Bershkevich. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Carried. Okay. Appointing Rosemary Zerniak as a Registrar of Vital Statistics for the year 2023 at the hourly rate stipulated in the budget. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Montreux. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Carried. Okay. Appointing Jill Goss as the Deputy Registrar of Vital Statistics for the year 2023 at no additional compensation. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. And second by Mr. Gibbons. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Carried. Okay, appointing Larry Ball as the Fair Housing Officer for one year at no additional compensation. Motion. Motion. <laughs> we'll see if anybody Mr. else Martin. wants that. I, 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 <laughs> Mr. Montroy, I'm sorry, Mr. Montroy. Second? Second. Second by Mr. Gibbons. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Carry. Okay, appointing Larry Ball as the Zoning Administrative Officer for MS4, SWIP, and Building Administrative Officer for one year at no additional compensation. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin, second. Second. Second by Mr. Montreux. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Carried. Appointing Jerry Lee Rollins, Rollinson as the clerk to the Zoning Administrative Officer and Building Administrative Officer of the Budget and Salary. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Montreux. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Carried. Appointing William Pindle as the Fire Administrative Officer for one year at the Budget and Salary. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. 
Second by Mr. Montroy. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Carried. Appointing Kimberly Mullenbeam as the dog control officer and animal control officer on a monthly basis at the budget and salary and serving at the pleasure of the town board. Mm -hmm. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Gibbons. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Carried. Hey, retaining <coughs> Costello, Cody, Furon, PLLC, John Laney, Esquire, as attorney for the town of Sullivan for the year 2023. Does anybody want to make that motion? Come on, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I got locked on now. <coughs> it's it's right. moved. Motion by Mr. Meyer. I'll second that. Second by Thank Mr. Martin. Yeah. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Carried. Appointing Beth Ellis as the town comptroller for the statutory period at the budget and salary. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Bershkevich. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 And any opposed? Here. Acknowledging the appointment by Andy Ragusa, Highway Superintendent of. Do we have a deputy or no? Um, I Abe Zarnacki, we're going to continue. Okay. Here. We're going to put him in there? Yep. Okay. Abe Zarnecki as the Deputy Highway Superintendent at the hourly rate stipulated in the budget. Need a motion for that? Yep, so moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Seconded by Mr. Bershkevich. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Carried. Okay. Appointing Paul Jasek as a member of the planning board for the term ending December 31st. 127 at the budget and salary. So moved. Motion second. Second. Second by Mr. Gibbons. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Carried. Designated Frank Park as the chairman of the planning board for one year term ending December 31st, 2023. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Bershkevich. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Here. Okay. Reappointing Rosemary Park as the Secretary of the Planning Board at the budget and salary. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Montreux. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Here. Okay. Appointing Cliff Erd Reels as a member of the Zoning Board of Appeals for the term ending December 31st, 2027, at the budget and sale. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Bershkevich. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Carried. Designating Steve Durfee as the chairman of the Zoning Board of Appeals for a one year term ending December 31st, 2023. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Montreux. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Carried. Okay. Appointing Jerry Lee Robinson as the Secretary of the Zoning Board of Appeals at the budget and salary. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Gibbons. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Gary. Appointing Councilor Martin as a Deputy Supervisor for one year term ending December 31st, 2023. I'll make that motion. Anybody want to second? Second. Second by Mr. Montroy. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Gary. Okay. Uh, acting as the Board of Fire Commissioners. Appointing Jim Ostrowski as the chief of the Bridgeport Fire Company, Jason Baker as the chief of the Chittenango Fire Company, and Timothy Flynn as the chief of the North Chittenango Fire Company. Need a motion for that, please? So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second, Second by Mr. Montroy. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Carried. Congratulations. Okay, appointing the following committees for the year 2023. 
Highway will be Councillor Montroy, Fire Department Supervisor Becker, Parks and Recreation Department Councillor Bershkevich, Personnel, count, personnel uh, will be Councillor Gibbons, Councillor Martin, Councillor Bershkevich. Do you have a motion for that? So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Montroy. Is there any discussion? <coughs> All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Carried. Okay, naming the following three members of the Grievance Board for Personnel Policy to Wit, Supervisor Becker, Councilor Martin, Councilor Bershkevich. Motion? So moved. Motion by Mr. Gibbons. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Montroy. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Carried. Okay, authoriz authorizing the supervisor on behalf of the Town of Sullivan to sign the contract between the Town of Sullivan and the Town of Thunder for fire protection for the year 2023 as per the agreement presented to the board subject to review by the town attorney. Motion? So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Montreux. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Carried. Okay, authorizing the supervisor on behalf of the town of Sullivan to sign the contract between the town of Sullivan and the town of Cicero for fire protection for the year 2023 as per the agreement presented to the board subject to preview by review by the town attorney. Any motion? So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Murskevich. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Carried. Okay, uh, authorizing the supervisor on behalf of the Town of Sullivan to sign a building cleaning contract between the Town of Sullivan and Boots Cleaning. We don't have that yet, so we gotta wait until he's giving us that contract. Uh, is, uh, okay, uh, that the supervisor on behalf of the Town of Sullivan be and hereby is authorized to extend the term of the lease between the Town of Sullivan and the County of Madison for the composting site at the Town of Sullivan property on Bolivar Road in proximity to the transfer station through to December 31st, 2023 as per the extension of the lease presented to the Town Board. Any motion for that? So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin, second. Second. Second by Mr. Mantra. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Any opposed? Carried. Okay, approval of the 2023 holiday schedule. Uh, New Year's Day, Dr. Martin Luther King Day, President's Day, Good Friday, <coughs> Memorial Day, Juneteenth Day, Independence Day, Labor Day, Columbus Day, Election Day, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving Day, Friday after Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve, Eve half a day, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, half a day. Just a correction, we have to write that down. Typo. Thank you. Okay, I need a motion for these. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Bruschevich. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Carry. Well, that's done. That's a lot of talking. That's a lot of talking. <laughs> Okay, fuel fuels, fuel fuels LLC 2676 State Route 12B, Greensboro, New York. Price on diesel 303 fluctuating net price is 100. Uh, 
takes the 320. Uh, ULSD winners 6040 with additive, and that price is 343. Fluctuating price is 340. Base is 332. Gasoline base 223.88. Fluctuating price is 244.76. Propane is 1.669. Fixed price is one point seven nine nine. Next, we have uh, Marabido Holdings, um, the Metro Center, Forty Nine Court Street, Binghamton, New York, PO Box five three zero six. This is the bid for propane for twenty twenty three. $1.85 per gallon. Okay, this is also Rabido Holdings, uh, Rabido Energy Products, the Metro Center, 49 Court Street, PO Box 5306, Binghamton, New York. This is for gas and diesel. Seven octane ten um, two thirty eight fluctuating price two fifty six eight five um, diesel is three forty six four gallon three sixty five five one five fluctuating bid price um, winter blend with diesel. 468 a gallon fluctuating bid price is 487.15. And you want to take a look at these and we'll let us quit one. I guess I'd like some input on your thoughts on fixed versus progressive. I can predict the market, Andy. I wouldn't <laughs> be sitting here. I know. I did it last year and it paid off. I what did you do fix last yeah, year? Yeah, that was the uh, first year we've done that. Yeah. Uh, so, I, I, at least you know where your budget would stand. <coughs> Energy prices, I, my gut is they're not going to. They stay locked, stay locked in. Yeah, yeah I would. Yeah, but I can change it once. But that's your decision. <laughs> there were some decent locked in prices compared to. They weren't. Yeah, they were no, I mean, fuels. Got both of them uh, quite a bit less. It's just a matter of whether you go into the fix or the fix or the fix. You look at it later. <laughs> okay. Uh, has everybody read over the, the engineering proposal for the engineering ser services for Cool Brick and Northridge? Uh, <coughs> Barton Owens Judas. With all that's going on up there, the sooner we get on this one, the better. Yeah, well, I just don't want to get on this horse too far because I don't want to turn into. Yeah, you want, yeah. You don't want so to be all five, five is what you're committing to. Right. Now. Yeah. It could be, I mean, I don't know what the spec today, so it could yeah. be more, it could be less. Yeah, I, look, I don't want to buy the whole road yet. We well, make sure they <laughs> have a discussion if we start yes. finding something yeah. different. Yeah. That. So you're going to agree to the 5000 today and. So yeah. I need a motion. This isn't right? an open check for the right? Yeah, you can put it on Right? If you don't have it, you gotta recuse yourself. He, he could, but yeah, he, he, he could. Right. 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 You're not the, the folks are there, you know. You don't need to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I want to move this, John. Okay, motion by uh, Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Bershkevich. Is there any discussion? 
So don't do that. Oh, no, I'm very yep. So, Mr. Verstevich. Aye. Mr. Gibbons. I would abstain. Okay. Mr. Martin. I'm an aye. Mr. Mantra. Aye. And I'm an aye. Carried. Okay. Need a motion for the town clerk to pay any funds left over from the 2011 state audit. Motion for that. Please. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Mantra. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Okay. Public hearing is still open for the local law F 2022 updating our code enforcement program. Is there any here, anybody here to speak for or against that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, um, in, let's see here. Section 133-3B says no permit is required for installation of listed equipment, but there's no list. What page are you? Well, page seven. Top of the page. Page, page seven. seven or eight? Top of the page seven. All right, your pagination is different than mine. Mine printed out. 123-3B. 123-3B. Five. B. Okay. That's, a list, that's a listing off of the uh, of the state uh, regs. State six. So the code officer consults the, the, the master state regs. That's my understanding. Okay, so or whatever it might be. I don't know. If well, we need to call in. Who's, you know, okay. how do we know what what's on the list? We thought we got we got to bother the code officer and say, yeah. Yeah. is this on the list? Yes, because you're going to get a building permit. Anyway. It's an exemption, no permit is yeah. Ex uh, exemption. Yeah, so we, but you know, if you don't need one, you need to call the code officer and say, Yeah, I need one. I don't think it's a problem. I am not seeing what, so I'm seeing a list of stuff. So there's an exemption provision on building permits. <coughs> no building permit shall be required for work in any of the following okay. categories. And then sub five is installation of listed portable electrical plumbing, heating, ventilation, or cooling. Oh, right. I think you're missing one through four. Yeah. Oh, I didn't go through those. Yeah, I just, I just jumped oh. on. This is the one that Art was talking about. about. That's oh, the one he's oh, driving. Five sets of building permits. Right. Well, I know what I'm doing. I'm going underneath number one, construction of temporary sets and scenery. <laughs> so I'm with theater uses. Every day is a theater. <laughs> In my house, no, not my <laughs> yeah. Art, you, you can call my office tomorrow and uh, we can find the, the, find the parallel section of the code for you. For that. It is the problem. The state makes all of this crap so hard for everyone. It's just ridiculous. You know, and they wonder why, well, they get away with what they do down all the I mean, it's just obscene. People have enough to do in their daily lives. And, and, Trying to go to work every day and get their kids where they got to do go and retirement and everything you got to do with this belongs to you. Well, that's it. You know, before I show up at Blandings or Lowe's or Home Depot, it'd be nice to know what's what I don't have to get a permit yeah. for if I'm pulling out my checkbook. So, do you guys want to still leave the public hearing open? I've got some more. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. go ahead. Um, you know, Art, you can call me on these ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We talk all the time. So. But go ahead. Uh, section 133-9, well, subsection A, page 14. Subsection 9, sub A, 5. Okay. Might be Outdoor 14. events where a plan and attempt to see a thousand people? Yeah. That seems a little on the high side. Jeez. So, if somebody's going to have an outdoor event with 800, no problem. Right. Holy moly. Or 999. Yeah. It just seemed out of uh, out of place. It's in the model law. So I like to tell you this is the model law. Right. And I think we we have other mass we have a mass gathering uh, permit section I think in the code that's 200 people. Is that I think that's 200. Yeah. So that would supersede this. Well, it could, yeah. Well, you'd, you'd want to refer to it or something. Mm -hmm. so we're trying to avoid mass, you know, 
weddings and stuff like that. Or this is for I think for a larger venue, but this is the state code, so like right? Woodstock. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're not even sure we're going to adopt this yet. So. Well, I, that seems a little on the high side. Yeah. Right. My input. Um, and then um, the last thing is on page twenty-five. We've got a fee schedule referred to, but it's not attached, and it's going to be changed by resolution. Is this is this the item that uh, Jeff Taylor was talking about? Is the fee schedule here? And if so, you know, where's the input for changing the fee schedule? It's just let's have a resolution to change the fee schedule. Section one two three dash seventeen. Yep, I'm there. Yep. It does, doesn't doesn't have the fee schedule, but it just refers to it and says we can change it. That's typical. Right, that's, right. that's a typical where our, all of our fees get changed by our fee schedule can be changed by resolution. So this says just like the other fees, things falling under this section would also be done by a future resolution. Well, we were we we're having public hearings on it where uh, with uh, the last fee schedule change and rolled it back as a result of the input from that. Well, some of them already done. We still yeah. talk about that. Some of them already been done because we, we went back to our original schedule, if I remember right. right. That's correct. So we this does reference schedule. building permits, which we have those for. Uh, renewed building permits, we have those for. CFOs, we have them for. Uh, all these things, I think, we already have a schedule for these. Right, but making changes to it, it says. By resolution. That's, adopted. Where, that's where it's always been. By resolution, always. Yeah. Always. Yeah, you, here's why you do that. It's practical. You can do stuff and by town can do things by resolution, ordinance, which is never true, or local law. Local law is a big headache. You gotta enter, you gotta write it over law, you gotta circulate it, you gotta publish it at public hearing, you gotta adopt it, you gotta file it with the state of New York. Or a resolution, that's the local law. Resolution, these guys could decide, well, hey, we're gonna lower this fee or maybe slowly increase that fee. Majority of the board can do that. That's a practical. He just says we can do it. That's all. Thank you. Okay. You want to leave the public hearing open for uh, month, another few weeks? I'm okay with that. I'm not in a rush. Yes, I'll say that. Okay. 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 Our hazardous mitigation plan resolution. I do that for the county, please. Any motion for that? So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Okay. Uh, Mr. Bruscovich, is there any discussion? Mm -hmm. All in favor signify by voting aye. Aye. Everybody opposed? Carry. Okay, we'll go back up to fuel bids. What do you think, Andy? Uh, fixed, not pricing, fuel fuel. Okay, you want to go with fuel fuel, fixed pricing? For everything, Andy, or, do or what about propane? All, uh, everything. All three. Yeah. Andy, a motion for that, please? So, so up second. Motion by uh, Mr. Montroy, second by Mr. Martin. Is there any discussion? All in favor, signify by voting aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Carry. Okay. We're all set with that bill. Fuel, fuel, fix. Yeah, right. um, Bridge, New York application for Andy uh, Martin with Judas for bridge work. We have to have that for put in for some grant money. Need a motion for that, please. So moved. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Montroy. Is there any discussion? I just want to make sure you guys know that there's a negative declaration included in here, and I've completed the short EAF indicating as such. So if anybody thinks there's some impact to the environment, we got a vote on that separate. Nope. I put it all in you one. Just want to make sure one. you're aware of it. Okay. Yep. That was in there. Okay. Yep. Who was the second? Uh, Mr. Montroy. Uh, right. Second by Martin. Yep. All in favor signify by voting aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Carry. Okay, our ambulance discussion. Uh, they have a used ambulance at uh, Northeastern Rescue, which is basically the only place you can get these things. Um, it is a 2016 Medallion T1 F450 ambulance. It's a diesel, uh, $114,200. 
We also will need a stair chair at $5,200 and the heart monitor at $45,524.31, for a grand total of $165,015.44. At the used ambulance, we were looking at a new ambulance, which was a Chevy Crestline, which was coming in in March. And that would be grand total of $306,224.44 for the stair chair and the heart monitor. I'm asking that we go with the used one uh, so we have some money left over to uh, do some modifications to the building. How many are working? Miles are 66000 61 or 66 thousand dollars. Yeah, I'm gonna put the proposal up for that. What's that? Was I gonna put a proposal out? Yeah. So let's sit down. We have to do that, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we'll have to put a bid out for On this. the use. Yep. I just need authority to go ahead and do it. Okay. Yeah, 61 or 66 thousand dollars. Now, how are other towns handling the just supply chain issues and the way we do business? Yeah, in in specs. yeah. how do we get through this? In a so some of the stuff we won't have an opportunity to do the right at the end. So, if you approve this, I'm, I'm, I'll finish up the generic specs for, for the, the use of vehicle of this sort and then we'll solicit them and then you can have it out for the next commission. Okay. okay. Before I'll get it out as quick as I can, but it would be when you want to open them is the question. I don't want to trip these guys off too long. Let's see. <coughs> Can we open it for the feet? first meeting of uh, February? Yeah, I mean, we could shoot for the 18th if you wanted to. I mean, I can try as quick as I can to get it out there. Okay. Because you're going to probably get a post it here, put it on the website, mail it out to yep. known, known people. And, See who can meet well, except these guys are the only ones that do ambulances. Well, you know, whoever you come up with. Yeah, I have a lot of choice. Just because of the amount, we have to at least try it. Okay. Yeah. Something. Are you guys okay with it? We don't like the waste bin. I know. I, I don't know. It, it's, we're going to look at it Friday. I mean, 61,000 miles or 65 don't sound like a lot, but I, my guess is these things idle around forever. Yeah, so for, for a long time. Yeah. 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 So so for 2016, used for 2016 or newer. So if there's other ones, you can you can solicit those too. That if this is the one you end up going with, and you've already done, you've got that spec out there for it. So you should have a little bit of wiggle room as to where we have it. It would be nice to do a couple of places if you can. And John says it's probably not wrong. That's, that's why my that's why I'm asking. And, and, I'm and, I'm and I've got the minimum. I've got the minimum specs. I think that we need. I'll I'll show them to John before they go out the door. This is a four wheel drive. It's the 450 where the Chevy is the is a four-wheel drive or four dress I can't remember. Mark, okay, four dress line is the four-wheel drive, but I think it's the gas, it's not the gas. There's a gas it's the one. new one. You want a gas, right? No, the you use want diesel. diesel. You yeah. want the diesel. Okay. Diesel is better. Yeah. Do you need gas or diesel, or do we consider both? Whatever you say. We usually do like an equivalent. We have like an equivalency language you put in there. So if there's something that we didn't know about, they can throw that at you. You can decide. We're going to buy best value, so you guys get to decide what's important. Yeah. You know, like this. So if, if best quality, all that stuff. They use one, and something goes wrong, you just sort of care whatever the town or the county that fixes it. No, not county. It's the county. So that's why we, that's why we just bought a brand new one, so we got a backup. In case one or the other goes bad. So if you guys want to go over and look at it, I do. I'd like to know what time. Because you're getting quite the the county takes over it. Yeah. Well, we got to, as soon as we get it, we got to turn it over to the county. So that's their responsibility. Yep. I guess my concern was if it was Carol's town, I was on, there was something wrong with it. Are we in or they? No, they're even. Okay. Are we going to have to go over to the county? Yep. 
So I need a motion, please. So uh -huh. moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Montroy, second by Mr. Martin. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by voting aye. 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 Opposed, carry. That motion was for John Laney to draw yeah. up our yeah. bid yeah. so we can put it out and see what we got coming back. Okay, no budget modifications. Um, the next town board meeting will be a work session on our Airbnb and our zoning law. Uh, we'll be moving on Airbnb so we're ready for the spring time. Uh, so if everybody rush up on that, we'll spend some time on that. We have no firefighter applications. Um, and we're going into the second session. Okay, we got the fuel bids. We're all set on those. Does anybody have anything out there? Or when you go to look at the ambulance, I assume you're going to take a test drive. Make sure you crank the radio all the way up. Yeah, play the siren. <laughs> Lights and siren. Yes, I <laughs> Gary, yes, sir, Mr. May. Um, I think you gentlemen know I'm on the Zoning Board of Appeals, and I was looking for some clarification on the oh the law that you guys uh, passed last fall relative to solar fields and adjacency to uh, designated wetlands. One of the uh, one of the applicants made a fairly convincing uh, argument that it was virtually impossible to find any place within our township that wasn't close to a wetland that would be applicable or uh, appropriate for a solar field. So and I would have looked at him with a good smile and said, well, maybe you better think about that statement. Well, that's <laughs> that's uh, 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 let me say this about <laughs> this one, right? He did say that. They kept saying it over and over. And I said, can you show us something with some maps? You can, you know, can, can back up what your statement was, and I'm still waiting to hear from them. However, if they make their case for a variance, they, the balancing test that you guys use all the time, then you might you might end up approving it, or you might not if they don't make their case. So it's it's an equal playing field on that as far as that goes. Yeah. I, like I said, I'm said it. I don't know if it's You true. do know that, that these things, well, well, how big is this thing? This five is megawatts. Right? Five, five megawatts. megawatts. Yeah. If it's badged for five megawatts, it will only put out maybe 2.5. And then in the wintertime, and around here, like days like today, that won't even put out one megawatt. So, what are we doing? Taking up all that space for less than one megawatt and whether or not you know it's ridiculous. If you obey, you lease this and the leaser goes out, you're responsible to dump all the hazardous materials in that land that you use for the solar panels and now classified as hazardous material. You ever tell you that? Look at it. Well, I, I do know that there's a significant bond. Against well, we got a cash bond here for yeah. to make it. Yeah. Yes. So, but these things, we've got a 500 acre one proposed over by my house that will, it's supposedly going to put out 50 megawatts, but it'll only put out 24 to 25. And in the wintertime, it'll only put up se out seven. So, you're covering 500 acres of farmland for seven megawatts. Well, uh, John, you, you said something that's my major concern, okay? I don't want good productive farmland Correct. utilized for solar fields. Well, okay. what would have happened this past week in Buffalo? God forbid if we were under the governor's auspices with everything in 2030, where everything's got to be electric. No more gas, no more hooking up to the natural gas, all the houses got to be electric. What would have happened to them poor people in Buffalo? You would have had more than 40 die, you'd have had 4,000 of them die because of there's no heat. I mean, they have to look at this policy that's just crazy. It's pie in the sky is what it is. There's a 1,400 acre um, solar farm proposed in Fenner. 1,400 acres. And that's decent farmland up there. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. That's so, where we're at. Yeah, so solar fans. You stand by your resolution. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's all I wanted to You had something else. You had one other thing, didn't you? Um, oh, the other thing is. Um, I will send you a request 
or Andy. Andy, I'm talking about you. Okay. Um, <laughs> good things. All good things, Andy. Um, North Road from uh, basically Hitchcock Point Road up to Ferret Lane. Yep. Um, it's Deer Haven and it's a lot of walkers. The speed limit on Hitchcock, Shackleton are all in the 35 to 40 mile an hour range. I'd like to see North Road there. I was going to say, when was the last time we did a speed study? I can't remember. Can you hand them over to Jim? It's a, there's a ton of walkers and, uh, you know, that's not one of their criteria in a speed study. Okay. Unfortunately, they are safe. Well, I know there's been a few on that one. I can tell you the exact date when you look it up. Um, but uh, nothing has changed. So uh, I can add it. No, I'll, I'll look up, you know, okay. send me an email and I'll send you the last speed study. I'll send it to you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Um, Thank you. We did a speed limit on Hitchcock one. Yeah, I, I saw that, but that doesn't help me on North Road. It helps if you're on Hitchcock. <laughs> well, but I'll tell you what, when you wake up in the middle of the night and you see eight of them sitting in your backyard oh, wow. and munching on your shrubs, yeah. it doesn't make you real happy. <laughs> I mean, I, I wish for more hunters. <laughs> okay, does anybody else have anything? Okay, motion to go into executive session. I got it. What do we got? Right, well, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Jeff Napoli. Okay. Yes, sir. Go ahead. And I have. An absolutely unbearable year that you guys are aware of. Uh, I was in front of you guys about uh, four years ago with her. We had her arrested. Um, since then, my tenants and myself, we have gone through hell. I have a tenant here now. My mother left. She was gonna. She was gonna make a statement when my daughter was here. They recently spray painted vulgar words right in front of right so it faces our property and that has been recently done to where I think it's, it's a, she drew the line. I've been here I don't know what to do anymore but I, I do see it escalating. Is that the Stolar's lane? Thank you. Okay. Yeah. I have a picture of what she has done in the past week with spray paint on one of her buildings and it's obscene. Okay, I'll send Larry down. Uh, I would love that. I'll send Larry down for it. Your address again is uh, 139. Yep, okay. I'll, I'll talk to him in the morning. I so thank you guys. I, whatever, whatever you can do. Yep. I okay. appreciate that. We'll have that, get, we'll have that take care of right away. I so appreciate and She do not even live here. She lives in Rochester or something. And she has the same issue out there. Call Monroe County. Mm -hmm. I get Okay. All right. I will talk to Mr. Larry and see if we can get that cleaned up for you. Thank you very much. As far as her being a pain in the neck, there isn't a lot we can do. I know, about that. I know, but this, that can't be right. No. I have pictures. Oh, uh, we had that taken care of, but we had one other issue like that. We had that take, okay. taken care of. Right huge, big, huge leather sign. Okay. Just will. All right. Thank, we'll you. That Thank you very much. No Thank problem. You. Sorry okay. for your okay. troubles there. No. Okay, anybody else? Andy? Nope. I was waiting to go back. Okay. <laughs> all right. Jim, Jerry, you guys are all set? Chief. Okay, good. Chief. Okay, thank you. Will we go to accept the motion by Mr. Martin? Second? Second. Mr. Martin, all right. 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 Mr. Martin, all right